All right, moving right along, we are now going to be covering special tests, uh, primarily the collateral and cruciate ligaments. This is going to be our video number three. Uh, so we're going to get started with our special test for the collateral ligaments. These are going to be our valgus and varus stress tests. Uh, these are done at both 0 and 30 degrees. Uh, so the first way that we'll do it is at the, at the 0 degree mark. This is stressing primarily the, the capsule, and so we'll demonstrate the valgus stress test first. So at 0 degrees, we're applying a valgus force, and so no gapping there. And then you bend to roughly about 30 degrees and repeat that same force. Uh, primarily then we're going to switch for our varus force, repeat it at 0 degrees and then at 30 degrees. And there is a modification here, so if you've got your uh, big lineman that you're doing this on, you can kind of stabilize the ankle underneath your armpit. You're now kind of totally in control of the leg and you just basically do the same thing. I'm going to be using my left hand, applying a valgus force, open them up to about 30 degrees and do the same thing. And then bring them back down to 0, now with my right hand and again. And so there's your modification if you've got someone with a heavier leg that you can better control. Moving on to the cruciate ligaments, the test for the ACL is done with the knee at 90 degrees, the foot flat on the table. As you can see she wants to slide a little bit so to kind of stabilize the extremity you just kind of sit on the foot. Preferably tell the patient first that you're going to do that. Um, and then with your hands you get your fingers high up in the popliteal fossa your thumb right on the joint line so you can better appreciate any laxity or motion and then you're just pulling towards you and what you're feeling for is increased play or laxity. You may get some pain as well but primarily you're feeling for increased motion here. PCL test is in the exact same position but now you're providing a posterior drive to see if the tibia translate posteriorly. Your other ACL test is the Lockman's which is done at 30 degrees of knee flexion you're kind of making two C-shaped hands on the distal femur and proximal tibia and providing an anterior drawer type motion across the tibia. This too, again, if you have your kind of large lineman, if you need to modify it, you can use your thigh to keep them in roughly a 30 degree angle and basically do the same thing, stabilizing the femur against your thigh and then again doing an anterior motion of the tibia uh, to see if there's increased translation there. The last test that we do for ACL uh, instability is the pivot shift. This is done starting with the knee inflection. You're providing an axial load through the tibia into the femur, internally rotating the tibia, and then providing a valgus force at the knee. And then you take them into extension, and you're feeling for subluxation or reduction uh, at, the, at the knee. Usually occurs at roughly 30 degrees. This one too can be modified by letting their shin kind of rest on your forearm, reaching around. You're using your hand to internally rotate the shin and provide a little bit of a uh, axial load across the knee as well. And then you do the same thing, take them into extension and feeling for that reduction at the same time. Those are our special tests then uh, for collateral and cruciate ligaments of the knee. Mm -hmm.